Hello, everyone. Well, there's Winston. Yeah, another country heard from. Yeah. Sassy, aren't you? And there's Bruno. And I'm Mike. And welcome back to our channel. Mike and Bruno's Garage. Well, and son. <laughs> I try to keep uh, Winston out of the garage because there's stuff that he could probably get into yet he's still a curious old double um and as you can see we're working on the big pack uh we pretty much filled one side of the garage well two-thirds of the garage still got enough room here to do my oil change on you know who and so i kind of promised myself that i wouldn't be buying any more tools but uh, we went to uh, our favorite resale shop, and I just couldn't pass up some of these deals. Let me get you in the stand, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay. Um, I said I said I wouldn't get any more tools, but I kind of fibbed. Um, went to Tractor Supply in our town when they were doing a house showing and I did pick up a couple of things from there. Um, what I did pick up was a set of so you get that in there. Brass punches. Four piece set. Um, at the car shop. The parts store. They wanted like $60. But they were a little bit longer. Um, I think I paid. Well wait a minute. I have the receipt. Just a second. I paid $30 for that and it's a Mayhew so I think that that's pretty pretty decent deal there then I happened to run across a set of lineman pliers from Crescent If you notice here, they're spring-loaded. I don't have anything like that where they're spring-loaded. And I paid 25 for those. So we'll see how they work out. One thing I did notice is that it does, you know, I mean, I got some somewhat decent hands. But that, I mean, uh, what's that cardboard, though? I probably could get a better handle on how those open and close. But, yeah, I thought those were pretty neat. So I picked those up. Then went to the resale shop. And I think I did pretty good. I'm going to save the best for last, though. I got one of these... It's kind of a cheapy, but you can kind of line your bolt holes with to line line up the holes. Um, there's no name on it. Uh, kind of cheapy. The handle's kind of cracked. Maybe I'll even put a new handle on it. But uh, for lining up your bolt holes... This comes in handy when you're trying to put a lawnmower deck on. Hmm. That kind of thing. I got that for a dollar. I got the snap ring set or snap ring pliers. And I thought they were kind of cheapy, but then I noticed that it had a U.S. patent number on it. I paid a dollar for it. 
And underneath this little tool pouch here, it says KD Tools. Let's see if I can get that to show up on there. Now I've already got like six pairs of these things. However, but they're, you know, USA made. And it comes with all the little pins in it. Looks like uh, it does need to be adjusted here. One broke off in there. This one's kind of bent. But, let's see if I can get this in for you guys to focus. But it says, KD right there. 445, made in the USA. And they're kind of spring loaded. So that, that wasn't too bad for a dollar. I mean, these come in really handy. So yeah, for a dollar, I didn't think that that was too bad. And then. I got like a big punch. This one looks like it's been modified with a, maybe a nail set of some sort. But uh, the head was pretty mushroomed. Um, oh, what do we got here for a name? Hersh Herschel? I think that's what it says on there. I don't know. Can you see that? Right along here. It says Herschel. Get a wire brush. And I got this 8, 10 millimeter wrench, and underneath the tape, I paid a quarter for this. It says Mercedes Benz. Let's see if I can get the glare off of there. Do I got the light on? There we go. Mercedes Benz. I thought that was kind of neat for a quarter and it's an 8 and a 10 millimeter. You can never run out of 10 millimeters. They always seem to disappear, don't they? Let me get a brush. Yep, Herschel. Uh, what is that? Five five five. Yep, I believe that says. Let's see if I can get the focus. Oh, come on. Herschel. Five five five. So I figure I can clean up the end of that and make a nice heavy duty, you know, punch there. Then, he, I'm getting there. The, the three biggest things I found, and I love this, paid $2 for this. Okay, this one's 13 sixteenths. This one's three quarter. Uh, quarter inch on style. Um, five sixteenths. thinking that this was also oh and this one here is a 19 millimeter those are all blackhawk sockets and then i got an industro super 
13 16 spark plug kind of looks like it's been sitting in a bucket or in the bottom of a toolbox but that'll come off of there I'm pretty sure and I got that for two dollars and these I believe are the eight point let's see two four six yeah eight point sockets Looks like we got something that uh, tried to live in there for a while. <laughs> Moving day. <laughs> okay, so I got that little bag of those sockets for $2. Oops. Might have to put it in a different bag. This one looks like it's got a gash in it. Okay. Next, and I got this for three dollars. <coughs> three dollars. This will clean up pretty good too. But it is a manual caliper. Or Manual caliper. I don't know if I can get that to show up. I had to clean it up with some steel wool. But right here, it says general. You see that? Oh, come on. Focus. Come on. Out of focus. There we go. A general. And the number on that is 721. And it's complete. Moves pretty good. It's even got the depth indicator on it. So I think that that would clean up pretty good. I don't think about taking it apart too much. Just clean her up on the wire brush a little bit. The markings are still pretty deep, so I figure a wire brush and some steel wool, collar good. Three dollars. I got a digital one, and I think I got another manual one like this. So I paid three bucks for that. Now, for the coup de gras. I got this. This was in their little display case behind the register and it's been sitting there a while I did not pay $25 for it I paid 15 I offered them 15 said since I'm in there all the time but it is a Starrett dial test indicator and Still in the wooden box. I guess it could kind of hit. You can kind of zero it in. LS Sterrett Company, Ethel, Massachusetts. And what's cool? Is that it still works I paid 15 bucks for it my first stare at tool and it still looks like it's in pretty good shape I mean how cool is that and it still has the original little wooden box So that's kind of what I picked up tonight. Wasn't planning on it. But uh, I was kind of hoping not to have to move anything more. But, oh well. You know, when you start getting into looking at your stuff, at the stuff, it's kind of hard not to say, ooh, hey, I'll probably need one of those eventually at the new shop. So, that is kind of the haul 
for today. Um, like I said, we're still in the process of getting packed up. Uh, shooting for the end of June for the closing on the new house. Um, we're still in the process of trying to sell our home. Hopefully that comes around with a little bit of luck. And with that, um, for me and Bruno, who's right there, uh, who's my boy, yeah, Winston's, Winston will be more into it later. He's still too curious, and he likes to speak up. He likes to add editorial comment, doesn't he? So, for me and Bruno, thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate all you new subscribers. Um, last time I checked, I'm currently up to 70. And, you know, for me, that, that just shows that... Uh, you guys are watching. You like the content. Um, I'm no big time YouTuber, but you know, uh, all us tool guys kind of stick together a little bit, and we watch each other's videos. And I sure do appreciate all of you guys that watch mine. As always, thanks again, and keep on tinkering.